थिन एंडोमेट्रियम इज अ नाइट मेयर बेसिकली फॉर एन आई वी एफ स्पेशलिस्ट एंड अ पेशेंट बिकॉज फॉर अ प्रॉपर एम्ब्रो ट्रांसफर वी नीड टू हैव अ प्रॉपर एंडोमेट्रियल लाइनिंग सो द ऑप्टिमल थिंग इज समथिंग अराउंड नाइन टू इलेवन एम एम बट ऑब्वियसली द ट्रांसफर्स कैन बी डन आफ्टर सिक्स एम एम बट वॉट हैपन्स इन मेनी पेशेंट्स द एंडोमेट्रियल लाइनिंग वी हैव टू सी द एंडोमेट्रियल लाइनिंग द थिकनेस डजेंट कम सो वी कॉल इट एज अ थिन एंडोमेट्रियम और द थिकनेस कम्स बट देर इज नो ब्लड सप्लाई और द वॉल्यूम इज लेस सो दीज आर ऑल द पैरामीटर्स दैट वी फेस एज अ चैलेंज ड्यूरिंग आवर एम्ब्रो ट्रांसफर एंड वी हैव टू ओवरकम इट टू गिव अ गिव गुड सक्सेस रेट सो कमिंग टू द कॉजेज ऑफ थिन एंडोमेट्रियम सो वॉट कॉज इज अ थिन एंडोमेट्रियम so basically for most obviously any layman also will come to know that obviously if they are having thin endometrium they are having some hormonal imbalance in their body secondly there might be some anomaly some problems there in the uterine area so that might be the cause of the thin endometrium maybe you are having some adhesions inside or any other problem so first and foremost to come to a proper diagnosis we need to be very particular that okay you are in the category of thin endometrium it's not like by chance in this cycle maybe many times what happens the patient has not bled properly or uh, they have been uh, taking some medications they were having some fever they were having some other problem and in that cycle the patient tries to get the endometrium prepared and then a thin endometrium comes so in that case we give the benefit of doubt to the patient and we skip that cycle always we don't label the patient as a patient with thin endometrium and in the next cycle then we go for 3d scans we study the endometrial layer we study the thickness we study the volume we study the doppler the blood supply so if any problems comes there we have to rectify it we do a hysteroscopy if there is any problem obviously we do the adhesive lysis in hysteroscopy secondly there is a thing called uterine prp and stem cell processes so we do all this club with the hysteroscopy to have good results and there have been wonderful results in thin endometrium patients with uterine prp or when we are giving this growth hormones also so these are some of the things that we do to increase the endometrial lining layer and to have good success rate and there are patients who after taking these treatments have had good success rates plus there are many adjuvant treatments also we give vaginal tablets we give other antioxidants also which increase in increasing the endometrial lining but it's always safe it's always better for the patient and for the patient also don't pester your doctor to do the transfer if the doctor wants to cancel the cycle because if the doctor is cancelling the cycle for thin endometrium or any other endometrial problem definitely there is some problem and it is for your benefit might be you're suffering from in some infection the doctor will rule that out for you so you are having this problem or you might be having any other problem so let it be diagnosed and then only go for the transfer we care about you